This Northwestern situation is f***ing wild, and it's about to get worse. You see, late last week, the Daily Northwestern, a student newspaper, came out with a report detailing hazing that was allegedly happening on the school's football team. Pat Fitzgerald knew about the hazing, but he was still suspended for two weeks without pay. However, the day after his suspension was announced, the Daily Northwestern dropped an exclusive with a former player who detailed the full extent of what was actually happening and how much Fitzgerald really knew. His former player described the hazing as egregious, vile, and inhumane, stating how players, primarily freshmen, were subject to running for mistakes made on the field. A practice in which 8-10 to 10 upperclassmen who were dressed in purge-like masks restrains a freshman and began performing illicit looking acts on them in a dark locker room. There was also a bunch of other stuff that I won't get into here with the threat that if they didn't do it, then they'd get run. And as if that wasn't enough, another article came out a few days later in the Daily outlining a culture of racism at Northwestern. And now it's come out that the school's baseball coach might be fired because half of his team ended up in therapy after his first year on the job.